All right, what's up? Time to do that deck profile for the Troll Tricks build, and I'll do a separate video for my actual Ghost Trick build. Um, so if you've been following the deck for a while, you'll know that the extra deck has changed quite a bit. Um, I used to have um, something up. I had I had a few other ridiculous fusions that I can't make just for the just for fun. Um, but I'm I'm slowly thinking of like what to add in here. Um, it's a mixture of what I actually do use in my actual build slash um, like I'll I'll just get into explaining it. So three sign. Um, I've been debating if I want to cut down sign. Uh, or not, I don't know, I haven't decided. Uh, the one skeleton, uh, I know skeleton isn't that good, but when, um, he is an alternative win condition for this deck. Um, and I have won duels using skeleton. Um, I was playing against, uh, what was it called at the... Um, it was, uh, let me search for the card. Uh, it was something demise, yes. King of Armageddon. So my opponent, he was playing a ritual or he's playing pretty much a demise spam deck which revolved also around um gear town and the um ancient gear dragon or whatever it is um so uh so yeah he was playing um against that and because i couldn't keep getting over his stuff basically what i ended up or no he he had so much back row that i was like okay i at the time i was only playing one ghost trick out and I already used it earlier in the duel, so I was like, okay, I'm just going to clog up your board by flipping all of his stuff face down, um, using ground collapse, and then just constantly flipping skeleton. And at the, yeah, at that point, my opponent, he just couldn't play. He, he MSC to ground collapse, and then I was like, okay, I'm fine with that. Play more monsters, I'll just flip them face down. And then I just kept abusing skeleton. So... The deck is very slow. It has no OTKs. Um, it's Ghost Tricks. They don't do that. Um, though there might be an OTK that I'm not aware of. I don't know. Um, if there is, my my deck is not that build. Um, so I do play the one skeleton. Two Jiangxi. I know most people play him at three because he's the searcher of the deck. Um, but I'm I if I had to play him at three, I'd probably cut Stein. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. And then I do play two witch, one doll. Um, generally, I, either I open with her or I search for her later in the game. Um, just because early game, she's very good because she'll flip all your opponent's stuff and allow you to make your plays. And then late game, she's equally good um, if your opponent has, a, has too much board presence and you can just clog everything. Uh, three Jack Frost. I don't, I don't play Lantern. Um, I don't really have the space for it. Three Spectre. Uh, and then I, I just generally prefer Jack Frost more. That's another thing. And then I do play two Mary. Um, debating how two feels, I don't know. Um, but yeah, the reason why I don't play Lantern is, again, because I, I have too many spells and traps. Um, this deck revol revolves a lot around shenanigans, so... It's a lower monster count than what I would normally go for in a deck, but it's I, I make do. Uh, one bait doll. Uh, it's if I hit a trap, it's an MSC most of the time, um, and it's just a generally fun card to mess around with. One terraforming because there are times, because basically the only way to get house is either draw into it, have parades effects go off, and I only have one parade, or get Stein to go off, and he's only sixteen hundred. So if I don't have house, it's hard for Stein to get his effect off. Uh, so one terraforming, because it's necessary. I main deck the three MSTs, um, just because there are so many problem cards for this deck. Like in the previous video I just recorded, uh, or Immortals, Mound of the Bound Creator is a problem. Um, what else is a problem? I'll, um, at tournaments, people will side in um, Shadow Imprisoning Mirrors. And uh, there was one duel I played. It was Scraps. Um, I ended up bait dolling his Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, forcing it to activate. Uh, so I was like, okay, now that I know which card to hit, MST. Um, and he was very upset about that because he had a, he had a lot of back row, but he only had the one mirror. 
Um, so I MST'd the one mirror when, when it mattered most. Um, so I like Bait Doll because it, and because it shuffles back into the deck, it's not wasting your, um, the three MSTs that I run. Um, because these, when you need them, you tend not to draw them. Um, and if your opponent has three back row and you only have the one MST and you need to know what's hit, Bait Doll is a good way of, like, checking. Um, Swords of Concealing Light, uh, three is a must-have. You don't, I don't draw into this card often enough, um, which is crazy, like, for, like, this deck I should draw into this more often, but I don't. Uh, three Ground Collapse, um, just because it's hilarious when you draw into it. It's a car it's an old card that not many people, uh, see anymore. Um, and it's good MST bait as well. Um, because your opponent has to choose which one they what they would rather deal with. Would they rather get rid of your house, or would they rather get rid of this? Depends on your opponent, really. Uh, the one parade, I'm debating playing this. I don't know. Um, if I get the terraforming, I'm most likely going to search out the house rather than the parade. Uh, just because parade is very conditional. If I have a handful of Jack Frost, yeah, I'll search out parade. Um, because then I can get Jack Frost to summon, then I can have Parade's effects go off, um, and do all the shenanigans, but it, it's there because it's there, and then Three House, or Mansion, whatever you like to call it, um, because I've been on Dev Pro a lot lately, I've just gotten to the habit of calling it House, um, even though it is Mansion in the TCG. Uh, two Needle Ceiling, this card is really nice. Uh, one Ghost Trick Out, I've been debating playing with two, but because I have such a low monster count, um, I've had times where this has been set, and I don't have a ghost trick in my hand. Um, so it's very conditional. Uh, two, Panic. Um, I haven't decided if I want... I like I like it at two because it's very useful at two. Um, that was one of the ways that I won against uh, the Demise spam deck, uh, was having two panic set at the same time because he summoned one i go panic and flipped his card before you could pay the cost and then he sec he summoned a second one in the same turn and i'm like nope panic um it's also go ghost trick scare but i like ghost trick panic more because that's generally when i activate this card i'm in a panicking situation uh one compulse um because i flip a lot of my opponent's stuff face down phoenix chain is not good in this deck um, so Compulse is my way of getting rid of problem cards. Um, and then two Ghost Trick Knight, because that card is really good. Even if it's set face down as a bluff, your opponent will accidentally MST it, and they can't attack that turn. Um, and I've had that happen to my opponents where um, they made plays and they try to go for game, but they forgot that they can't attack because of Ghost Trick Knight. Uh, for the extra deck, I am playing three Dullahan. Um... I've had several games where I've gone through all three copies of him, uh, just because, like, Dolahan's way too good. Also because of all of the, um, level ones that I'm able to special summon. Um, like, generally, a play will go, I special Frost and then normal Spectre, or I'll have Spectre special, then I normal another Spectre or a Mary or something. Um... So yeah, I, I will go through all three copies of him in a, du in a duel if I have to. Uh, one soul mar marionette's here. I never made him. Uh, that spot could probably go for something else. I just don't know what rank twos to play. Um, just because I normally... The decks I'm only familiar were, were with are like rank four spam and like plants which make rank eights. So I don't really know much about like low level ranks other than Zen mains. Um, two so cute boss or succubus. I I don't like calling her so cute boss, even though she is so cute. Um, but uh, two succubus. Um, I again I rarely make her, because for me my major rank two engine is doll and one of my two witches. Um, so they're there because they are ma able to be made. Um, but it's slow using doll because um. At the end phase, she'll flip my Succubus face down. So she's a free pop, but her secondary effect where that monster zone cannot be used 
um, is sort of wasted once she flips. Uh, one Zen Mains, because Zen Mains is still, in my opinion, a good card. I don't have Fortune Tune. I might actually take the Soul Mariner tier out for, for, for um, Fortune Tune. I don't know. Uh, the one Shadow Lich, because it does have its uses at times. Um, again, something I rarely make. And then 3 Alley card. Um, at best, I make one or two in a game. Um, and that's rarely, because I'd rather clog my opponent's field rather than clear spots for them to use. Um, and then these are just fun, like, just because they're there. Um, yeah, that's uh, my Troll Tricks build. Um, I'll make a separate video showing what I actually use in terms of cards that I actually own. Uh, in terms of the monsters, it's not very different, but in terms of the spell and trap lineup, it is. Uh, so yeah, hope you all enjoyed. Until next time.